But we begin with two Johnston County families coping with the shock and pain of that deadly crash. Yeah, tonight this young man is dead. His girlfriend, who was riding in the front seat, did manage to survive. The accident happened around 3 this morning in the 5800 block of Old Fairground Road. The Highway Patrol says Lucas Curran's car crossed the center line, clipped a roadside, and then slammed into a tree. Elena Athens in the Raleigh Eyewitness News Center. She's got more on this story, talking to family members. How are they holding up, Elena? Well, Joel, the brother tells me the family is distraught, especially the mom. Curran hit the tree head on, according to an eyewitness. Basically, it was a tragic, tragic. I just, my heart goes out to the family. A 25 year old is killed in a crash and his girlfriend who was riding with him was injured. The family of Lucas Curran says he was on his way home less than three miles away when he slammed into a tree. It was a loud impact. It sounded like one of them transformers right there exploding on, on the, you know, there. So we, like I said, we jumped up to see what it was and that's what we woke up to. The crash happened outside of this woman's home early Saturday morning. When she came outside, she could hear the girlfriend, Jessica Coates, screaming. The girl was laying here, blood all in her arm and everything, standing there saying, help me, help me. So I dialed 911 and I talked to them. The girlfriend was taken to Wake Med and at last check is in fair condition. Karen's family is hoping to make funeral arrangements Monday. Right now, they're just asking for the community's thoughts and prayers through this difficult time. I'm fighting with myself right now because it really broke, breaks my heart. You know, it's somebody's child, you know, and there basically wasn't nothing that we could do to save him or help him because he was already gone. And Highway Patrol says both victims had their seatbelts on when they crashed. The department also saying speed was not a factor, but they're not sure if alcohol played a role. An autopsy is being done. Live in the Raleigh Eyewitness News Center, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Such a tragic accident, Elena, thank you.